Hi everyone, welcome back. This is uh, Desert Girl Coastal Life and I'm Melissa. Today I'm gonna take you around and show you the mulch I just got dropped off in my back door. So a year and a half ago I started by pulling up all our grass and weeds to utilize the entirety of our yard as more of a uh, garden slash orchard, a bit of a testing ground so I can see what I can grow here. I live in Vancouver, BC, which is a zone 8B. So we do have a pretty temperate climate, coastal climate. And in my backyard, I've got a few little uh, micro pockets where it's a little bit drier, a little bit hotter. So uh, what we'll do is I'm gonna take you around to the back, show you how much mulch we received. And the company that I get it from, great company here in Vancouver, BC called uh, Grizzly Tree Experts. And they drop off a bunch of our mulch so this time around, we got a fair bit more than we usually receive, but that's great for me because I have to use this pile of mulch to cover my entire front and backyard. So I'm going to spin you around so you can see how much mulch we received. But before I do, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and sharing as this really helps my channel grow. All right, let's get to it. Okay, that's my job today. I've got to shovel all this mulch. Cover all my trees. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can really tell like how much mulch this is, but it is a colossal amount. I've never received this much, I don't think. When we first received it, it actually went all the way into the alley and covered my door. So we had to dig ourselves out yesterday. So now the joy of shoveling begins.
how are y'all doing? So I want to take you around the yard. I just finished mulching the backyard. I still have the front yard to do. But as you saw in the beginning, I had this huge pile that I had to go through. So I'm just going to take you for a quick walk around the yard so you can see how I utilize the mulch. Basically, it is something I use as a blanket, especially through the winter time. It offers my trees and my perennial shrubs and even some annuals that I try to overwinter a little bit more protection and warmth. But mulch really for me, because it is decomposing, even though it's doing that at a slower rate, it's helping all of my plants to gain a little bit more nutrition throughout the year. I typically put two to three of those piles on my entire yard every year. So it's a fair bit of work for me to put the mulch down and to spread it around, but the benefits of using the mulch far outweigh the amount of work it takes. In the summertime, it actually provides all of my plants and shrubs and trees a cooler soil temperature. So, so when you put mulch around your plants, it's actually helping them to maintain the proper uh, soil temperature for the roots to thrive. It's giving them nutrition. So it's a great thing to utilize in your yard. I highly recommend it. So without further ado, I'll spin you around, then we'll take a look at the yard. Okay, so as we head out, you can see here how I've utilized the mulch on here. I still have yet to do this little bit, but all of my pathways, everything in between my tomatoes and my little zucchinis. So all around here, I have put in mulch. Now, this side here with the grasses, I've been growing my grasses here, but they're going to get dug up and put in my front yard. So it's just kind of a holding zone right now. Okay, so looking up here at the berry cage, I have to add a little bit more inside, especially around the edges. You can see the white is still showing, so that's going to get filled in with more mulch. In here, I actually put a lot of my coffee grounds, so it gives really nice acidity to those plants. We had a little bit of a windstorm last night, so it blew everything apart on top of my swish char, so I gotta put that back together. So coming around this way here, this is my peppers, tomatoes. I think over here I've got some butternut squash still on the vine. Yeah, so as you can see, everything here is a thick layer of mulch. This here, I put in about six inches. In some areas I put a foot. Okay, so that is my Shiro Plum Asian Pear. These are my two pawpaws that are going to get transplanted to another area. So this is my newest fig. I've made, I don't know if you can see here, I've made a little well inside so that the water can collect and go straight to the roots. Now as we pan this way, you'll see here I've got a couple of my uh, European pears on the right hand side, my uh, rosemary down there on the bottom right. So in and around my fruit trees I've put roughly about a foot, six inches to a foot of uh, mulch. I'm still going to add a little bit more. I want them to have really good protection. These are some of my kale and collards. I had to transplant them so they're not doing so hot. And then here is some uh, lavender, and we've got a big cabbage right there, some rogue tomatoes that came up on their own, and some yellow cauliflower that I'm hoping I might see some action on, but I'm not sure. Okay, so there is the backyard all fully mulched. And we'll get around to doing the front yard next. <laughs> 